Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Welcome back to Boys with Toys. Today, I, Jared, will be reviewing why Mixels are amazing. So first, just talk about this Mixel in particular. This Mixel in particular, his name's Torts, 48 pieces, and I love him. See, first of all, this mix Mixel um, does very well in capturing what it is um, supposed to be in the actual Mixel show. Like, it's supposed to have, like, slime arms and stuff, a big nose, kind of look like a kooky little character, and I feel it really captures that. What's the guy's name? His name's Torts. Oh, Torts, okay. See, parts-wise, what I like about this guy is it comes with this lime green, uh, undefined bottom slope, which, first of all, really works for the nose, and throughout the whole Mixel's line... They have really been using these, which I really appreciate. They haven't been using those much lately. And it, it has some pretty good recolors, like this um, translucent neon yellow, or either neon yellow or neon green starfish piece. And um, also, it also can, has this... Uh, green piece here. I'm not sure what it's called or where it's from. Just, I just really like it. It also comes with um, Exoforce arms, which is just a blast. They can work for anything. Joints, they can work for um, fingers. What was the piece that you were saying that would work well with uh, Optimus Prime? Oh, this pieces like this can work really well to make an Optimus Prime visor, like, you know, the mouthpiece. Then you can just put, I don't know, some flat studs on top. See? I'm gonna better look at that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, what I like about Mixels in general right now, what I love is, um, first of all, the teeth. I feel that really works to give Mixels quite a lot of character. Same thing for the googly eyes. The googly eyes. Those just look funny, and they give them a lot of character. Also, Mixel joints, uh, Mixel joints are, as small as they may seem, are very tight. I've seen people across the internet use these as necks, to, since they can support a large head for arms and legs. They're pretty much multi-use. Mixels also, since some people can just use them as a parts pack, they looks like a parts pack with character here. They're smooth, they look fine-tuned, they use pieces that, you know, that you wouldn't normally think of using. No. So. Would you recommend that, they, that LEGO continues this line of Mixels? Yes, I do. Mixels, since they already have like four or five series right now, it's definitely worth it. Like, this guy, it's also just a fun desk toy, you know? If you're just bored, you can just be like, yeah, Mixel. Now, we would like you to talk about this Mixel. This one we just we just saw, this one. Sammy just did an unboxing of that one, huh, Sammy? Mm -hmm. Okay, this Mixel is so weird. Yeah, the only one I bought in. No, no. So Why did someone do No, no. So it's on a different planet. Is it on a different planet? Yeah. So what do you like about it? All right, we're gonna we're gonna sign off. It's a little noisy in the background. A little. Boys with toys signing off in Canada. That boys and toys here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're signing off. There you go. And this. This missile can open his mouth.